banging MILFs, getting rich, then banging more MILFs. Every guy has a list of things he wants to accomplish before he dies, so here's a list of 15 things on every guy's bucket list. Number one, threesome. Guy brains are very simple. Having sex is the greatest thing that can happen to us in a day, and the only thing better than that is having sex with two people. Losing your virginity is the day you become a man. Smashing two people at once is the day you become a god. The only downside is your hand hurting after giving your friends too many high fives. Number two, commit a crime. Why do men like vigilantes so much? Simple, because they don't play by the rules. No one wants to be told what to do. What do you mean it's illegal to jizz in my friend's shampoo bottle? I just want to mix his old spice with my old spunk. Number three, bang a milf. We've all fantasized about our friend's hot mom getting stuck in a dryer and needing your help to get out. You see, every guy wants to sleep with an older woman. Older women don't play games, tend to have bigger tits, and have maxed out their dick sucking skills. Best of all, their ovaries are drier than a Nitro Valley bar. So you can raw dog with 50% less risk. That's a great batting average, boys. Number four, doing drugs with celebs. Any celeb would work. You could smoke pot with Snoop Dogg or do coke with Demi Lovato or take sleeping pills with Heath Ledger. Anything that gives you a great story to tell their family at their funeral. Number five, start a business as a porn star. There's no better side hustle than porn star. Getting your dick sucked and getting paid? <laughs> Talk about a good Tuesday. Only sheep work nine to five in some office cubicle. Be a lion and find a way to have sex with that sheep for money. Number six, roadhead. Is it extremely dangerous to everyone else on the road? Of course, but that's what makes it so thrilling. Will you finish with a smile on your face or into a family of four? Well, it depends how much teeth she uses. Number seven, own property. And no, I'm not talking about your East African friend. I'm talking about a place you can call your own, a place you can blast music and hell helicopter without having people call the cops. Property gives you a sense of freedom where you can plant your flag and say, this is mine. Number eight, own a dog. A dog is basically a Dyson vacuum for it's impossible to resist its cuteness, and a dog can improve all aspects of your life. They can keep you active, help you out when you're sad, and it's an expert in finding toys. Just whatever you do, don't get a dog from a shelter. Having a shelter dog is like inviting a prisoner over your house. Sure, maybe he's reformed, or maybe he mistakes your child for a wishbone. Number nine, smash a chick in a foreign country. Even if you don't speak the language, I assure you, nothing is more attractive in the Philippines than unzipping your pants and whipping out your fat citizenship. Best part is, there's no consequences. Good luck collecting child support when I'm two continents away. Number 10, make it rain. Could be in the literal sense of skeeting a whole bunch of money at a stripper, or just basically balling out. Like buying all your friends drinks, or releasing a dozen doves every time you walk in a room. Personally, I only make it hail, which is throwing a whole bunch of change at homeless people. Sure, it hurts, but they need the money. They're already eating ass for heroin, so being pelted with a bunch of dead presidents is considered a holiday. Merry Christmas, bitch. Oh, why are you like this? Number 11, smash in an empty movie theater. Everybody wants to smash in public. The fear of getting caught heightens the mood. But what public place can you smash? without getting arrested? That's right, an empty movie theater. If a theater is empty 20 minutes into a movie, then that's basically God giving you the green light. I'm already rock hard watching Minions of the Rise of Gru. Might as well show my girl this Twinkies cream filling. Number 12, own an expensive watch. Once you have a little bit more money to spend, you need to buy a nice watch. Now you may be saying, what's the difference between a $9,000 Rolex and a $30 Timex? Simple status. There's a reason Mariah Carey named her shoe collection F*** the Poor. It's because having expensive stuff gives you status in life. What's even the point of having nice things if you can't shove it in people's faces? Uh, which would you rather, having a nice watch or a heart transplant? Show the haters that you chose balling out, even in death. Number 13, save someone's life. Nothing more heroic than endangering your life in order to save someone else's. And if it works, you know what that means? That's right, good publicity. Which will definitely result in blowjobs. This is what they should use in army recruit videos. If you choose to serve our nation and protect our freedom, women will pretty much have to. Number 14, own your dream car. Women aren't into practical things like cargo pants or honesty. So you could brag how safe your Prius is, but the only thing you'll be folding the seats down for is your Nizuko body pillow. If you want to smash, then you need a sexy car. And sure, you have to squat down like an African guy taking a sh** just to get into it, but it's built for speed. Gonna be hard for her to keep her bra on when you're going 220. <laughs> Number 15, getting revenge on your enemies. We all know it's illegal to beat the shit out of them, but perfectly legal to send them a Snapchat of you motorboating their ex. Now, which one do you think is going to hurt them more, huh? <laughs> Bonus tip, if all else fails and you don't hit any of your dreams, then you can just live vicariously through your kids. Just download all your insecurities on them like some sort of shitty human USB drive. You failed at baseball, but your kid still has a chance of being drafted. They're probably going to hate it, but they're also desperate for your approval. So keep throwing fastballs at their head until they learn how to catch, Billy! So those are my tips on what every guy should do before they die. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, there's no greater joy in life than helping people. Ah! Not the face! Not the face! Mmm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.